The Jackson City Police Department is investigating a shooting last night in which a 15 year old boy was shot in the face. Neighbors told us they are sick of the violence and as Christopher Lane reports, they want something to change. No arrests have been made in a shooting that sent a 15 year old to the hospital and that has the community on edge. Every day, I'm talking about every, if you was around here, you would see it. Neighbors say they're considering moving or that they don't feel safe letting their kids run around outside or at the park. For the young jitterbugs, half of you clown need to be locked up because they don't make no sense though. It's crazy. And they're asking the community to do something about it. And that's where places like the Martin Luther King Recreational Center come in. What we try to do here is just also offer positive options to kids. What we try to do is offer recreation services, any uh, education services, uh, internet services, some things like that to get, get, get young people off the streets and involved in what we're trying to do here. The shooting happened right next to the Martin Luther King Recreational Center, where a 15-year-old was caught in the crossfire of a shooting, according to neighbors. The shooting was an extension of a fight that happened at a Jackson school earlier in the day. Jackson need to come together and put an end to it. That's all. And the King Center is doing everything it can to keep kids away from the violence. It's very important that, that our cities, that our, our, our government officials all understand the importance of making sure that we're engaging young people, make sure that we're offering them things that are positive for them to do to take them away from the streets. In Jackson, Christopher Lane, Fox 47 News. The police are still searching for suspects. They believe there were two males fighting on Adrian Street when the 15-year-old was shot.